First on Fox tonight, waiting for a miracle. The Food and Drug Administration's approval process for new medication can take up to 15 years. So that means families who need those drugs could literally die while they wait. That's why they and others are pushing for changes to state law that they say could actually save some lives. Fox 17's Eric Alvarez live downtown tonight to show us how it could affect people right here at home. Eric. Well, the right to try law would make drugs that are experimental at this point available to patients with terminal illnesses. The Beacon Center of Tennessee is making an aggressive push this legislative session because they say patients across the state, like Amanda Wilcox, who works here at Cross Point Church, are running out of time. Amanda Wilcox in her element. I think I could sing probably before I could actually say words. On stage last month at Cross Point Church, singing her heart out. I love it. I think it's something that brings a lot of joy and a lot of hope, and I love doing it. On Tuesday, a crew breaks down the stage after the Mary Music City Christmas show, something Wilcox had to sit out. Um, I'm not supposed to be in big crowds of people. Last month, doctors diagnosed Wilcox with thyroid and colon cancer, a combination threatening to take her voice and her life. Treatment options are limited, and Wilcox says the key to getting out of the seats and back up on the stage could rest with state lawmakers. This is really a bipartisan issue. Lindsey Boyd is the policy director for the Beacon Center of Tennessee, an organization pushing for the right to try law in the 2015 legislative session. Right to try has passed in Colorado, Arizona, Missouri, and Michigan thus far, and it is set to be up for debate and, and likely passage in at least 10 other states. Wilcox doesn't know if or when her voice will give out. So she's using it to thank those calling for the right to try law while she still can. It feels amazing um, just knowing that there are other people that, that care about people in my situation that are willing to invest their time and their money and their energy just to help somebody like me. Now, obviously, Wilcox can't wait to see what lawmakers decide. Right now, she's preparing for a couple of surgeries and several bouts of chemotherapy to deal with this illness. Now, the community here at Cross Point Church uh, has, uh, is offering to raise some funds to help her pay for that very expensive medical treatment. Reporting live downtown, Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.